Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Most of my prophetic friends are all telling me the same thing. They are hearing from God that we're about ready to have an invasion of the glory of God like the world has never seen before for the greatest mercy of God on planet Earth in history. It's the wrap-up, but the mercy comes first. And this, this, this mercy that is coming, uh, I have three of what I consider the forerunners of the glory of God that for years have been operating in the glory, and I have asked them to team up together, and I believe there will be a synergy of release of miracles like we have never seen before in this show now. Get ready to experience a live glory explosion event. Join Sid Roth and his special guests, David Herzog, Kathy Walters, and worship leader Julie Meyer for this live TV event, Glory Explosion. You will find out that in God's manifest presence, miracles are easy to obtain. Living in the glory realm is not just for a select few, but instead it's intended for every child of God. Get ready to enter into new levels of intimacy with God. Access the supernatural realm and receive your healing, your miracle, your breakthrough. And now, here's your host, Sid Roth. I want to welcome our ISN viewers as well as our broadcast partners, GB America and Emmy TV, which covers Israel and the entire Middle East. I am so excited about this very special live Glory Explosion program. Uh, how about you? <laughs> Are you as excited as I am? <laughs> now, my first guest, David Herzog, carries the ability to release the glory of God and for miracles to take place. And as a matter of fact, uh, I guess I'd have to say some of the wildest miracles that I've ever seen with my own eyes have taken place in the glory that you release. But for starters, David, how would you, what, what is the glory? The glory is like if you went to heaven, what would you be sensing, feeling, seeing? It's the total manifest presence of God, heaven on earth. It's the highest you could get in God. And um, tell us, since I, I, I kind of whet their appetite, Tell us a few of the things that you have seen take place in the glory. And I have to tell you, the Bible talks about signs and wonders. And I heard one man of God say, uh, a sign is something you have to wonder about. And I think a lot of people wonder about the signs that yeah. happen with when the glory comes. Yeah, well, I've wondered about the ones I've seen in my own <laughs> meetings going, what is that? But uh, it's like if you went to heaven right now, and even if you had a cancer, you immediately would be healed because of, of the glory. So when that glory comes here, we see amazing things. Even in heaven, I believe if you're bald, you probably have hair when you're back up in heaven. I'm going. <laughs> and, and we've seen bald heads growing hair. I think we even had it once on the show, and we uh, uh, a footage of it. We filmed it before. Completely bald people growing hair because God's a creator. We've seen tattoos disappear off people. Uh, recently in Jerusalem, we had people growing taller. Why, why, why? People growing taller? Yes. Uh, how did they know? Their pants, legs a little too well, short. <laughs> well, they were short, and they were then they grew about this much taller after, so they knew two of them. Well, I, I can tell, I can attest, I was at one of David's meetings, and there's a woman with gray hair, it was beautiful gray hair, and seated right in front of me. And while I'm watching, it turns brown. I'm, oh. I'm serious. I'm, that was in uh, Arizona, I think, yeah. when you came, Miracle in Valley Sedona, or somewhere. Maybe. Oh, Sedona, yeah. Um, but uh, David, uh, I, you know, I'm, I, I have, my biggest liability is one of my biggest assets. I'm very logical. I want to know A, B, C. Now, God is dealing with much more information than me, so you can't always know A, B, C. But to the best of my ability, I want to find out how this glory, this manifest presence of God surrounds you when you speak. But it's not just when you speak. 
Uh, do you have it other times? Do you have it when you're going grocery shopping? Yeah, I have it when I, when I pray, when I go out. Sometimes I'm in, the, I'm in the health food store, and I'm just sitting there feeling the presence of God, and a psychic will look at me and go, who are you? What is that aura around you? Which they're describing the presence of God. So it's something that stays with you. You walk in an open heaven. I go to the gym recently, and this guy just started, he said to me, I'm getting a hernia operation, a Jewish guy. Hey, can I pray for you? He starts crying. He starts getting delivered. He starts screaming, and he gets healed. Just, it's just like an everyday lifestyle when you're in the glory, it's, and they feel the presence. Okay, a number of years ago, you were what most young believers would be ecstatic over. Uh, he, he's in France. He's having revival meetings. He's having signs and miracles happen, but there was kind of a discontent. What was going on inside? Well, I had a six-month revival breakout in Paris, France, mm -hmm. 1998. But I felt like it was good. It was mostly anointing and God was healing and delivering. But I felt there was another dimension of God's glory that I just didn't have. I just, I was preach and I'd feel okay after. But I just, that feeling like there's got to be more. And I read the Bible, Peter Shadow healing the sick, the glory cloud that Moses saw. So I felt like I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing some things. And I realized I was seeing a little bit of Acts chapter 2. But, you know, they went out, healed the sick. But Acts 4, whole different thing. And suddenly I just start seeking his face. I quit meetings. I quit speaking. I pulled out of the revival. I was so hungry, which sounds crazy. And I knew there was more. And after a few months of seeking God, something new came and a whole new revival in my own life happened of the glory. And that just changed our whole ministry. Well, you, you went to a meeting of a friend of mine who's now in heaven. Her name was Ruth Heflin. Uh, what happened at that meeting? Yeah, she had heard and, about and, the... And by the way, Ruth moved in the glory at that time. Oh, yeah. uh, very few were, and she was one of the forerunners at that time. Yeah, so Ruth Heflin was an amazing woman of God. I had heard about her, had read her books. In fact, reading her books convinced me to pull out of the revival to seek God. And after it was over the six months, she invites me to come to her camp. So I thought to attend. So I just went to attend. I was excited to go. I needed something new. And I get there, and she says, you're speaking tonight. And I said... No, I'm not. I don't want to hear myself speak. I'm, I want something fresh. I'm a prophetess, she said. You're speaking tonight. I go, no, I'm not. And she goes, yes, you are. And then she had that laugh, ha, 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 that laugh she had. And so I thought, all right, I, I, it's not what I came for. So I just, I didn't feel any, I got up, okay, I'm going to preach. And, it, the, and she sits there, like she always did. Yeah. And she knew, and she saw the angels, and the glory hit me. I sang my sermon. I don't do that. I went, arise and shine for the light. I was like, what is going on here? It was like I was looking at myself going, what are you doing? I was completely wasted. And for two hours, I, I sang the whole Isaiah 60, 61. Signs of wonder start falling. Gold teeth, gold dust, miracles, salvation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go, someone got actually, uh, now I understand this, but some of you watching may not. What David has just said, and it's so big that I don't want it to slip by. People got gold teeth. Uh, I, I've, I've, I've seen video footage of people getting a, a hundred plus people get gold teeth at one meeting. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I just uh, had to clarify for those. And, and then there were tumors disappearing, there were healings, deliverances, and I had gold all over me and I said, what is going on? But it wasn't about the signs. I got back to my room and I felt like I had died and gone to heaven. The glory was so thick. And I thought, oh, maybe tomorrow it'll lift. It never lifted. Three days, a week, a month. It was like I got saved again. Like, it was just like... Wow, every day was just like, oh, you're here. It had nothing to do with ministry anymore. I was in a whole new experience with God I didn't even know existed. I thought I knew the anointing and mm -hmm. preach, you pray, you read your Bible, you, you, know, you do your thing. It was a whole different thing. It was a new lifestyle with God. I didn't care anymore about if I preached or ministered or didn't, if I was known or unknown. I didn't care about anything. I just wanted to keep that presence close to me. Well, could you kind of tell me what you did yeah, you know, it was what it did it. Can I say you were hungry and it jumped off a roof on you? Would, would that be fair? I don't know. You tell me. That is so Sid. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> did it jump off a roof? It's <laughs> <laughs> on live TV. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, all right, we're just on live TV. The whole world's watching. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not slobbering, am I? No, I'm no. So what happened was, I think I got it when I went to, by impartation, where she was. Mm -hmm. I caught from her. So it was a combination, for the logical minds, it was a combination of being hungry and desperate, 
and being at the right place at the right time to get the impartation which she carried at her place. Geographical location where she was, her carrying it and staying on her pulpit. But then when I left, it was up to me to maintain it, to stay hungry, to be desperate for God. Okay, that begs a question that is an important question <laughs> for you. And, and that is, uh, most people, especially here in America, I know we're all over the world, but right here in America, uh, they're relatively content, you know? Uh, they're not hungry, they're not desperate. That's an important word. Uh, you became that way. Uh, if someone isn't, and they're being honest, they say, I love God, but I'm not desperate. W what do we do? Uh, what you do is you say, God, help me in my not being desperate. Kind of like Thomas said, you know, I have unbelief. Okay, help me in my unbelief. So if you be honest, God, I want to be more hungry. And there's times in my life where I wasn't as hungry as I should be. And I'd see others and I'd say, God, make me desperate like that person. And I would get hungry again. So ask and you shall receive. Very simple. And you know what? But you have the impartation, you have the prayer. Uh, would you look in the camera and lead people in that prayer? I'm going to say right along with you. Yeah, I'll do it right now. So if you're watching right now and you're desperate, you're like, that's me. I want more of God. I want the glory. Or I want to be desperate. I don't know how to be. Just pray right now. You can close your eyes, lift your hands. And I just pray right now for those watching all over the world that are desperate for God, whether you're a believer or unbeliever, a Christian, Jewish, Muslim, atheist, European, African, doesn't matter what you are, or what you believe. I pray the desperateness for God and for his glory to come on you right now in Jesus' name. I pray the presence, the kabod, the glory, the weightiness of God would come upon you in Yeshua's name and the hunger would come. You would be so desperate and hungry for God and that will start to attract the glory of God in your life right now in Jesus' name. Uh, David, I know you get a lot of prophecy. What is God showing you that will shortly occur uh, in the world or in America or in Israel? Sure. What does he show? Shortly before the election, I had an open vision. I was, I was flying over the United States and I saw lights and each light represented a s a different cities in America where revival is happening or about to happen. Glory portals, uh, places where people are gathering or they're going to be gathering places of heavy presence and they would be connected all over the United States. It would be like one here, one here, one here. Eventually, the cities would connect like ley lines. We know the enemy does it. We know the Freemasons do ley lines in cities in a demonic way, but God has his own ley lines in cities interconnected, and the more those places increase with I glory. Know, I'm not understanding the word ley line. Oh, just, just basically a line. Okay, all right. A line. All right. And then lines crisscrossing. <laughs> <laughs> And, and it's laid down, and it's a line. Okay, like I got you, like you. No, I want to be for the logic. For the logical, it's a line that's. <laughs> so if, if there's city here and here. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's, it's deep. I know. Ley line. The sarcastic humor is coming out. And so these ley lines, these lines between the cities are interconnected, and the glory will get so strong in between them. At, it's at such a point that even like Philip, people will be transported even between those ley lines. Hmm. Ministers will go back and forth people, prosperity will go back and forth. And so I started noticing my schedule. I was hitting all the spots that are known for revival or hot spots that are about to be. And I said, oh, that is interesting. And then even with China, I was in Shanghai, went straight to Hawaii. And God told me to tell the ministers there, I'm connecting the two nations. And shortly after with our president, there was a new connection that just happened, a new relationship with the Chinese president, that something is shifting as we do in the spirit realm. It's shifting in the political realm, in the natural realm. So what is, what are you going to, what, what is going to happen? Are we going to see uh, uh, what I believe is an outpouring of the spirit like the world has never seen? I believe we're going to see probably the biggest uh, awakening is what I'm seeing. The last great movement was like the Jesus movement mm -hmm. in America. It's going to be bigger than that. An awakening is coming and God will allow circumstances to come to make us even more desperate in America. Uh, you know, you talk a lot about um, uh, the greatest key to blessing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. The greatest key to blessing I found, whether you're an individual, a business, a ministry, a nation, is blessing Israel and the Jewish people towards salvation. So blessing Israel could be, you know, humanitarian or staying, we stand with you as a nation, but the greatest blessing is when you give them their Messiah. 
their own Jewish Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. In France, there's a lot of believers now so blessing Israel, standing with Israel, that because of that, you're going to see even a miracle in this next election. It could very well be like Brexit or like the last U.S. election. A surprise thing is going to happen because of what they're doing with Israel. The, the, the believers there, it's, it affects nations. So blessing Israel, praying for their salvation, standing with the Jewish people, these things start to bring huge favor on your life, your ministry, your business. Even if you're not a believer like Cyrus, he helped God's people and God blessed him. Give me, okay, we prayed to be hungry. Give me one strong key to get into this glory. The key, the number one key to get in this glory is to read all my books. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the number one key to get in this glory on a daily basis, besides being hungry, let's get, that's a given, is when you get up in the morning, just worship and praise Him until His heavy presence comes. Don't ask for things or your needs met. Just, I just want to be with you. And the best way to express that is praising and worshiping Him. Okay, uh, David will be back, but Kathy Walters recently saw a vision that is for everyone. That means you. It's for you and it involves angels. Now, you just give me that one clue. Now, when we come back, she's going to share it with you. But first, Julie Meyer is here, and she spent decades leading worshipers at IHOP in Kansas City into the glory. Julie? Let's worship the Lord. And we pray. We pray. special presentation of Glory Explosion. The supernatural of God knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural miracle anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network is now available for your mobile devices and smart TVs. The message of the Bible has not changed, but it's a 21st century world out there and how we learn about God's miraculous direction for our lives has changed. ISN takes our anointed programs out of the box and gives you complete freedom to watch what you want, when you want, and where you want. ISN offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. Or you can choose from dozens of powerful episodes of exclusive programs in our online library. Get ready to receive your supernatural breakthrough whenever you need it, wherever you are. Download the free ISN app today. And now, back to our special presentation of Glory Explosion. <laughs> Kathy, 
I noticed someone had to escort you up, and they weren't just being polite. You looked a little tipsy. Yeah, What's well, going on? It started in my hotel room, and then when I came in the door here, it got, like, ten times as bad. <laughs> Well, you, you know, for those that aren't, uh, is, uh, most people don't know this, but in the book of Acts, the same thing happened to a bunch of Jewish people at Shavuot, Pentecost, uh, when the Holy Spirit fell, uh, it said, those men are drunk. And uh, Peter, a Messianic Jew, stands up and he says, they're not drunk as you suppose, it's just 9 a.m. in the morning. And th <laughs> what they accuse them of, I, I imagine a few people wonder about you. Uh, and by the way, she, uh, you told me that, that's, uh, that you'd laugh a lot more than you. It's much better than crying, isn't it? It's much better than crying, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really strong around here. They can, the audience can probably feel it too. Well, especially... It's like and, waves. And, and at home. Those waves were going to go out right into where you, wherever you are, your office, your car, your uh, your home, your yep. school. Car, yeah, car. <laughs> I'd be careful uh, with the car. <laughs> uh, Kathy, you were uh, doing some special recording for us a few weeks ago, and uh, God spoke to you. Uh, uh, what did He show you? Um, he showed me. He well, He keeps showing me, but the glory that uh, David was talking about. The glory is, is for everybody. It's not, it's not going to be just a few people on the platform, but the whole body, everybody, is going to be operating in the glory realm, in the supernatural realm with the angels. Well, speaking of angels, you, were t uh, you, you told me yeah. about the connection of angels is what you heard. Tell yeah. me about that. Well, the connection of angels is like um, from different cities, like different train ministries. Station. Yeah, like different ministries, um, people going in and out, um, coming back, going out, and there's a, a new angel assignments to people that are, a lot of people are going to get on the train that didn't think they were going to because they think they're okay where they are, but they're going to find suddenly that the whole supernatural realm opening up to them. And surprisingly to some people, it's very easy, um, and it's going to connect uh, there's connections in the heavenly realm with the angels, but it's also going to manifest down here in the body of Christ. Well, what I'm hearing you say, people that are just spectators yes. will start praying no for friends and miracles uh, of the magnitude you see on television yeah. will be happening to your next door neighbor. Uh, I, I believe that. And I believe it's going to be the least likely that it's going to happen to. I believe if you're saying to yourself, that's not for me, that's for someone else, you're wrong. God's laughing at you. Yeah. That's <laughs> Get, true. Ready. Get ready. Get yeah. ready. Uh, so let, let me tell you about my friend Kathy. She doesn't look it. But she, she, she ran off away from a nice Jewish guy in England. David uh, wanted to marry her. She runs off to Australia, gets involved with the mafia. I mean, no, you know, if she does it, she does it all the way. Uh, she gets involved with the mafia uh, and then get, get, has a radical encounter with God. And now she's going to get killed because she's going to leave the mafia. But somehow she gets out. She marries David. And she bumps into I mean, I think this is fabulous, a real move of God's Spirit. What happened? Well, we were in our very theological uh, church back when I was, came back. That's where we were. And we were theologized up to here. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, suddenly God, we started to have this prayer meeting where we were like begging and pleading and carrying on, you know, like this. And suddenly <laughs> God, you know, you beg and plead and whine and cry and... Nothing really happened. So, <laughs> but suddenly someone showed up that was filled with the Holy Spirit, and suddenly we ran smack into the glory of God. We knew, we knew nothing. I mean, we started to have meetings. We didn't know how to have a meeting. Um, everybody got filled with the Holy Spirit. People were coming for miles from all over. We didn't know what to do with them. Somebody said, you should pray for them. And we said, well, what should we pray? <laughs> and they said... Pray for them to prophesy, and we said, "Well, what's that?" <laughs> so anyway, we came into um, this tremendous move of the glory of God. Why it was so awesome, I believe, is because God used everybody, 
every single person, the little people, big people, the lawyer, the banker, the child, the grandma. Uh, David said it even went into the schools. What yeah. What happened? Um, David would take a team into the schools. He would go into the schools to preach. They let you preach then. And um, the, sometimes they had to close the school and the college, even Leicester College. They, they had to close the school and the college because the power of God fell on the whole place. All the kids were laid out, like, in the playing fields, corridors. I mean, one college, after a few hours, they got off the floor, but they could either speak in tongues or not speak at all. So they had to close the college. Uh, and, and you said that you, it took a while sitting in the glory, but you lost your religious mindset. Yeah, God, Explain well, yeah. that. Well, God, see, I mean, we were full of theology, and God washed our minds probably for three years. We probably laughed for three years, actually. He just washed our minds. Now, by the way, uh, yeah. natural medicine tells you that if you have cancer, if you see comedy shows and laugh, it releases something in your body that heals. But uh, they could have just looked at God's Word, which says a merry heart is good medicine. Yeah. But I think also the laughter, it's not just because it's good for you, but the laughter actually is a warfare weapon. Because God looks at his enemies and... And what happens when the laughter comes is your spirit begins to pick up on a victory that's happening in the spirit realm... Mm. And then the laughter comes well, and you know, brings, brings it. You know, there's something that happens to me, and you're, you're explaining it. When I'm praying in supernatural languages, yeah. um, all of a sudden, I will not laugh like I've seen you laugh, but I will speak laughing like my language. I'll say, ha, 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 ha. And I've learned. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> and, and, and I've learned when that happens, I've gotten through. It's finished. That's why I'm laughing. I, th I always thought I was laughing at the devil. I like that. <laughs> Don't disillusion me. <laughs> well, when I was in Wales one time at a, doing a conference, I saw, I looked, I saw the whole room was like full of loads of druid spirits on people. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to pray for all these people. I read a scripture, the spirit of laughter came, the people laughed for 40 minutes. I just sat down, and then all the druid spirits left. <laughs> uh, help, help me out. I, I notice, I've had you at meetings where you have to be propped up by a couple of men uh, or, or, or women, but um, what is going on inside of you? Why aren't you standing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're paying a lot of money for this time, Kathy. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it feels like lots of water rushing around my legs. Like and water rushing around like, your legs. Yeah, I have like, to translate the British accent. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, today, I, I really felt when I came in, like, sometimes the angels play with you, you know, they mm -hmm. push you around a little bit to make you lighten up. They want you to lighten up because heavy is not... Uh, the Holy Spirit's not heavy. If you want to live and be in the spirit realm, you, you don't... You want to lose the heaviness. Because if it's heavy, it's... If it's heavy, it means it's you. You see, God, um, his yoke is easy, his burden is light and delightful. So um, heaviness is his... Uh, the things that are happening around us is his responsibility, not ours. We take it on ourselves, then you get heaviness. And it actually takes you out of the spirit realm. You know, you know I'm reminded of the word, uh, take my yoke. Yeah. It's easy, easy, not heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it actually says, my, uh, my um, yoke is easy, my burden is light and delightful. It actually says light and delightful if you read it in the Greek. So his... his but his yoke is easy, his bones light and delightful because he puts his desires in your heart. But so you, when you serve him, it's delightful. You, you, you said, speaking of easy, it's easy, easy. to get in the spirit. Explain. Yes. Because, because see, we have books like up to I here know. on <laughs> how to get in. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> um, it's like, ew. Um, have you noticed they smell funny, some of those books? <laughs> They smell like... Don't put me out of business. Anyway. 
yes, because the religious spirit always makes you try and do something God's already done. Hmm. He tries to make you earn something Jesus already paid for. He already paid for everything. But the religious spirit always tries to make you try and qualify or work at it or do something to do something to qualify. I don't know, but he's already done it. He already paid everything. There's nothing you can ask or think of that he hasn't already paid for. What we have to do is receive it, embrace it, and believe it. That's it. Now, That's you, it. you told me that uh, there's, you've seen angels here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you also you have said... two visitors today. Yeah. Tell me about the two visitors. The two, <laughs> the two visiting ones that came today have been walking around and taking note of everything. But this might surprise you. I would you. like to take notes about them. Yeah, they're <laughs> gonna, th but they are going to impart some of the things you, you have here to some other ministries because of the way you do things is very excellent. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, you said that angels are literally like a magnet. They're attracted to the glory. Yeah, of course. They... I mean, the angels around you and me, um, there's angels that minister to you. That's their assignment. You're there. There's one in particular. You're his assignment. He never leaves you, ever. I have that there's much need, huh? Well, no, he just, <laughs> you're, just, you're a child of God. And there's other angels that are assigned to your ministry. As yes. your ministry grows, God assigns more angels. But, yeah, they're around all the time. Angels, a lot of angels try and stop you from being heavy because you stop receiving. If, you, if, you, if people think you have to do something to please God or to uh, qualify in some way, they, it, they become heavy and stop receiving. Well, you, so you know what? As you're speaking right now, Kathy, yeah. God is telling me that there are people that have pain in their fingers, and if you will uh, move your fingers, you'll see that that pain is all gone. And uh, Julie Meyer has been ushering people into the glory of God for decades. Wait until you hear what God showed her about this particular program. She also has the best revelation I have ever heard for walking in God's glory. And I'm going to tell you, that one, she has a number, but that one is going to change your life. Be right back. We will return with more of our special presentation of Glory Explosion. Sid Roth has heard from a number of prophets that there is soon coming a major outpouring of God's glory, which will usher in the greatest revival in history. When the glory comes, there will be a manifestation of healings, miracles, and breakthroughs in an unprecedented way. Are you ready to walk in the glory atmosphere of God? Here is how you can. Call now and get the Miracles in the Glory package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walter's The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Myers' Activating the Glory. Six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Through this powerful Miracles in the Glory package, you will receive David Herzog's anointed Desperate for the Glory teaching. You will learn how a desperation for more of God will propel you into glory encounters like David himself has experienced. Understand when the glory comes, David has observed supernatural weight loss, creative miracles, and abundance of healing, even hair supernaturally growing. Learn how you can become a carrier of the glory and see God demonstrate God's miracle working power in your life. You will also receive Kathy Walter's powerful teaching, The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance. You will learn how miracles, angelic, and heavenly visitations are supposed to be a normal part of your life. Learn how to tap into God's supernatural power to access the glory realm and walk moment by moment in the spirit realm. Plus, you will receive Julie Meyer's life-changing teaching, Activating the Glory. Julie has led people into the glory of God through her prophetic worship for many years. Through this teaching, you will hear the testimonies of people who have experienced miracles from singing the scriptures. Enter into a place of supernatural peace and joy like never before. Learn four supernatural keys to help activate the glory of God in your life. 
Through this one-of-a-kind Miracles in the Glory package, you will begin to walk in intimacy with God like never before. Watch your God-given destiny accelerate faster as prophetic words, which were given for the distant future, will begin to awaken and manifest. Understand how to pray in the glory and see prayers answered because there is no time or distance in the glory realm. Learn how to make decrees and declarations in the glory realm and experience new authority and victory. Begin to experience God-given dreams and visions like never before. These audio CDs contain anointed prayers of impartation for you to obtain all of God's blessings and promises for your life so you can come out of the ordinary and step into the extraordinary. Don't miss out on getting the Miracles in the Glory package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walters' The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Meyer's Activating the Glory, six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 3136 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. And now, back to our special presentation of Glory Explosion. Well, I'm here with Julie Meyer. And uh, Julie, God spoke to you about this program. What did he tell you? I'll sing it. There's an open heaven. There's no ceiling. Angels ascending, descending again. There's an open heaven. That's what he said. <laughs> well, I like that. Uh, tell me, you're, you're a dreamer, mm -hmm. and uh, you had a dream about angels of revival. Mm -hmm. That interests me. What did you see? Yeah, I had a dream, and in this dream, I was told by the Lord to call forth the angels of revival. And I was told to call them forth three times. And so uh, in the dream, I just, I did, I said, I call forth the angels of revival. I call forth the angels of revival. I call forth the angels of revival. And I could see these great angels. It's like they were sleeping, like in the Swiss Alps. I mean, they were sleeping and they got up and suddenly the dream shifted. And I was with James Gall and he looked heavenly and this host of heaven was with him. In fact, he looked so heavenly that in the dream I said, are you here or do you live there now? <laughs> and in the dream, he was so James, and he goes, no, I'm not there. And he goes, I didn't go up, but he goes, heaven's coming down. And when I'm, when, amen. But when he, when he said down, it just reverberated. I mean, it just blasted. And this host of heaven, this host of heaven, this heavenly choir uh, came down just to invade the earth. And I believe that we are on the very, very brink of the greatest revival the earth has ever seen. I believe Me that. Too. Me too. I do. Me too. Uh, Julie. Uh, we had a mutual friend who's now in heaven. Uh, he's a, and, and, and uh, Julie was there at the beginning with Mike Bickle and founding the IHOP in Kansas City. Uh, and and uh, he, as I understand it, he really prophesied a lot of what occurred oh, there. Absolutely. And he said, he described, uh, I, I believe it was back in 83, 1983, what would happen just before revival hit. What did he in say? In 1983, he said three things that were unimaginable, like we couldn't grasp it in 1983. Number one, he said abortion would be perfected in a pill. Hmm. That was unimaginable. And that's happened. Yes. Number two was that the gay 
agenda would be fully backed by the government. And that and happened. And that happened. We love radically, but we radically stick to the word. But number three, he saw uh, Asians in the rice paddies, meaning the very, very poor of Asia. Mm -hmm. He saw them watching the house of prayer on unplugged television sets that they wore on their wrist. And My I gosh. remember laughing. I mean, like, because I was at that meeting oh. going, because television... They were very big, very thick, right. and it was unimaginable. But guess what? It's a signpost. We're on our way to a billion soul harvest. Yeah. A bill and you know what? So I believe, as Julie believes, it's strictly the mercy of yeah. God because I've read Revelation. I know what's coming in the future. And God does not want one person right. to not know him. You see, Christianity, most Christians have sold out for having a head knowledge. But I know the original Greek in which Jesus said, this is eternal life, that you might have experiential knowledge of me. It's not head knowledge. It's experiential knowledge. And uh, just as with David Herzog, he says people aren't hungry for God because they haven't prayed. Well, that's how you get experiential knowledge. Hell, you know, a lot of people say, well, prayer, that's for some of you people at IHOP. It's not for me. Why is prayer so important? Prayer is important for everyone, and we see it in Revelations 5, 8, where the living creatures and the, um, uh, the elders, they're holding a harp and a bull. And, and the harp is worship, but the bowl is the prayers of the saints, meaning Sid, your voice is there because prayers don't die. Bodies do. We can change the earth by praying. They ascend. John wrote it. They're in the bowl. You're, our voices are there along with John Wesley and, and George Whitfield and, because prayers never die. They're before the Lord continually. You know, God showed yeah, you. Yeah, that's good. That's why we need to pray. You know, and those little tiny prayers, you know, God, be with my children. Those 30-second uh, prayers matter. Is it matter. as significant for the person watching us at home right now as it is for someone leading prophetic worship at IHOP Yes, like you? because the people sitting at home, your prayers are changing the earth. They're ascending to that bowl before God in heaven, and they re it's like on replay. Whoosh, you know, George Wesley, or jo you know, John Wesley crying out for revival. Sid Roth crying out, Julie Meyer, and you crying out for revival. All right, you were given by God four very special keys that you were supposed to release on this show but there was one key. I'll let, I'll let you share the other three because they're very, very special. Look, if it's from God, it's yes, special. Absolutely. But there was one key that got me big time. Yeah. Would you do that now? Yes. Do you want me to do the... Tell us. No, tell us the keys. The key, number one, the key was to keep walking. It was um, Psalms 84. If you're in the Valley of Becca, don't stop. Stay steady. Keep walking. Number two, Philippians. It was forgetting what lies behind. It was delete. Just press forward. Forget what lies behind. And number three was Matthew 25. It's time to get oil. And that's just talking to him, having a singing to him, sing the word, just keeping that relationship open with the Lord, having conversation with the Holy Spirit. The fourth one was singing the word. Now, you know, I know about singing the word, but there was something about this revelation that, uh, and I told you that uh, when I first started, uh, I would pray for people. And I would have long lines, and I would lay hands on them and pray for them to be healed. And many people were healed. Uh, now I've learned I can operate through the spoken word just as easily as laying my hands on someone. Uh, but I found out 
and it was the most amazing thing that when I would sing over them, and I'm not a singer, what about, can, can someone sing that's not a Absolutely. singer? Absolutely. We need to break that ceiling that singing is only for worshipers and singers. It's a tool that we all need in our tool belt. Well, when I would sing over people, I get better results. So I'm not a dummy. I kept singing over people, even though I'm not a singer. But, uh, that, you know, I mean, you've done some study on mm -hmm. on this on singing on uh, what what science is finding out about that. Yeah, science is finding out that when you sing, that your brain actually functions as one. The different lobes are working together, and you're activating parts of your brain that you've never ever used before. Therefore, bankers need to sing the Bible. Entrepreneurs need to sing because it expands places in your brain you've actually not used. And I think how creative is of how creative is this of God? Because King David, it is said that he went to battle, went to war with a sword in his hand and a song on his lips. He sang his way to freedom and victory. Now, you actually in your own life, and you found many others that have understood what you teach and start doing and get the same results, you had a creative miracle. I, Tell me that. I had an amazing creative miracle. I've moved since Kansas City to the healing rooms in Santa Maria, California mm -hmm. with Rick and Lori Taylor. And I would just sing my CD, Come and Drink, because it's just the Bible. It's Psalms 103, that God forgives our sin and he heals everything. I will not forget his benefits. I was singing over other people. And I was sitting in the healing rooms, sitting in the house of prayer, singing over other people, and I got a creative miracle. I had to have a... Uh, this a scope down my throat every three years because I didn't have an up this upper door. I had extreme acid reflux. I had all this yucky gird in my That's stomach. Awful. Blah, it's awful. And and actually, I had two scopes in Kansas City. You know, I didn't have this. You know, you have to stay on this medicine for the rest of your life. I get to Santa Maria. I sit in the healing rooms. I pray in the house of prayer. I sing over other people the Bible. I go in for my scope a year ago and I have my paperwork and the doctor came back and he goes, you're fine. And I go, well, wait a minute. I go, but I don't have a door. And he goes, no, you do. You have one. You have one. And he said, go off your medicine. And I said, but do I, is my stomach? He goes, your stomach is fine. And he goes, your body is healing itself. I have it on my phone. And I said, no, Jesus is healing, but it's the power, amen. It's the power of singing the Bible. It's not just about singing, it's what are we singing? The word, the word heals. Okay. Yeah, he he sent his word yes. and healed them. Yes, he well, Julie, uh, again, that's you, but you tell me when you teach this, this is happening to others. It's happening to others. Uh, I had an amazing breakthrough. A man was 82 in England, never felt like God loved him, began to sing the Bible. I said, sing this. And he had this revelation that God hears every. Thing he said, he got great breakthrough. Another uh, woman got a hold of me because she said, I started singing the word. Uh, I always say sing psalms because they're already sung. She started singing the word and she was suicidal and she said it broke off. And she said, this is what I've been waiting for. Okay. It's a natural healing. I'm going to tell you what, Julie. I am going to release you right now to sing the word, but this is what I know. I know, I know there are people that have emotional problems, and these people are about ready to get set free as Julie sings to God the Word. But it's, and, and I'll tell you something else. He sent His Word and healed them. It doesn't say just emotional. It's anything. Someone's back has just been healed in someone's neck. If you'll test it, you'll see. I mean, there is the glory for healing is in this studio. All things are possible. And, and when we come back, I'm going to have David Herzog, Kathy Walters, and Julie Meyer all together. 
Julie, I want you to show us what we can be doing at home. I, but now, more important than that, I want you to do what God's telling you to do. Go for it, Julie. Amen. So right now, all I'm doing is I have Psalms 103 opened in my Bible, and I'm just simply making up a melody to it. And this is how we praise the Lord. This is how we get free and healed. And I praise the Lord, oh, my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy, holy, holy name. And I bless the Lord, oh, my soul. And all that is within me, for I will not forget your benefits. All that you've done, all that you've did for me, God. You forgive all my sin And you heal everything You heal everything You heal everything I won't forget your benefits And you heal everything You heal emotions, God You heal depression, Jesus What you do, and I, and I won't forget your benefits, and I won't forget all that you've done for me, and I won't forget your benefits. You Turn with more of our special presentation of Glory Explosion. Sid Roth has heard from a number of prophets that there is soon coming a major outpouring of God's glory, which will usher in the greatest revival in history. When the glory comes, there will be a manifestation of healings, miracles, and breakthroughs in an unprecedented way. Are you ready to walk in the glory atmosphere of God? Here is how you can. Call now and get the Miracles in the Glory package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walters' The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Myers' Activating the Glory. Six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Through this powerful Miracles in the Glory package, you will receive David Herzog's anointed Desperate for the Glory teaching. You will learn how a desperation for more of God will propel you into glory encounters like David himself has experienced. Understand when the glory comes, David has observed supernatural weight loss, creative miracles, and abundance of healing, even hair supernaturally growing. Learn how you can become a carrier of the glory and see God demonstrate God's miracle working power in your life. You will also receive Kathy Walters' powerful teaching, The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance. You will learn how miracles, angelic, and heavenly visitations are supposed to be a normal part of your life. Learn how to tap into God's supernatural power to access the glory realm and walk moment by moment in the spirit realm. Plus, you will receive Julie Meyer's life-changing teaching, Activating the Glory. Julie has led people into the glory of God through her prophetic worship for many years. Through this teaching, you will hear the testimonies of people who have experienced miracles from singing the scriptures. Enter into a place of supernatural peace and joy like never before. Learn four supernatural keys to help activate the glory of God in your life. 
Through this one-of-a-kind Miracles in the Glory package, you will begin to walk in intimacy with God like never before. Watch your God-given destiny accelerate faster as prophetic words, which were given for the distant future, will begin to awaken and manifest. Understand how to pray in the glory and see prayers answered because there is no time or distance in the glory realm. Learn how to make decrees and declarations in the glory realm and experience new authority and victory. Begin to experience God-given dreams and visions like never before. These audio CDs contain anointed prayers of impartation for you to obtain all of God's blessings and promises for your life so you can come out of the ordinary and step into the extraordinary. Don't miss out on getting the Miracles in the Glory package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walter's The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Myers' Activating the Glory, six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 3136 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. And now, back to our special presentation of Glory Explosion. <laughs> Once again, before we go off the air, I want to thank our broadcast. You ever make it very hard for me to make an announcement, Kathy. Broadcast partners, GB America and Emmy TV, Middle East Television. Our next ISN Live event is May 16th with Rod Parsley and the Harvest Singers. So many people struggle with the Book of Revelations and the end times. But this is what Kenneth Copeland says after reading this uh, book and hearing this teaching. There is no need to struggle. The key to understanding end times is the timeline. And he says, uh, Rod Parsley untangles the timeline. Uh, isn't that funny, Kathy? <laughs> I'm sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> Perry Stone says that Rod brings clarity and peace to both your heart and your mind. So be sure to join us for this special event. When we leave GB America, this program will continue on METB and ISN, the It's Supernatural Network. So be sure to stay with us. To watch on ISN, just log on to sidroth.org slash ISN or download our free ISN app. Just go to your app store, type in my name, Sid Roth, and look for the orange ISN app and watch us anytime, 24-7. Shortly, I'm going to, I don't, I don't know about this. I'm supposed to turn everything over to Kathy <laughs> and David and Julie uh, and uh, say, go for it and not, not make my <laughs> remarks about what are you doing? I'm just uh, David, you on. realize by just holding her arm. Oh, he's and drink, giving me drinks. I, I know that, but guess what you're doing to him? <laughs> <laughs> Donna, how are you doing holding on there? That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. Now, hey, um, wait a second. Where's my attorney? Don't you know testimony. if you fall and hurt yourself, I'm in trouble? Then what happened? <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad the merry heart is good medicine. Why don't you take some medicine? Aren't you tired of the crying and the moaning and the groaning? I mean, it, you should be a happy, clappy believer in the Messiah. I, th I think we have a whole audience here full, and if you're at home, you do it too. Come on now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you realize that this, what's going on?
What's, what's She's happening? She's supposed to help me. She's here to help you? Do you need a lot of help, Kathy? <laughs> I need more help now. She's trying to help me. Okay. Now, what I okay. I would uh, what I would like to know, Kathy, Here they go. Yeah. is uh, <laughs> is, is what you have contagious? Yes, very. <laughs> uh, David, has this ever happened to you where you've been drunk in the Holy Spirit? It just happened a few days ago at our. Uh, Passover Glory Conference, I was so wasted. I, I don't know what happened, what I said. And everyone said it was the best service of the three I did. I don't remember anything I said. And they said the teaching was incredible. I don't remember teaching anything. <laughs> well, uh, we, we have Julie True over there. Uh, have you ever been t uh, drunk in the glory, Julie? Well, I would love to be. Oh, all you have to do is be one of the holders of Kathy. That's I'm all it takes. I'm usually doing worship and just keeping the worship going. I, I would like you to sing about what's happening now. Absolutely. What? Instant in season, what can I tell you? <laughs> it's my presence, my prayers. It's the angels, the angels, they're swirling and twirling. It's a swirling like water, it's like water, it's like water, it's a swirling, twirling angels, angels in the atmosphere, revealing God to the human heart. It doesn't make sense to the mind, and that's why it works, that's why it works, that's why it works. They're revealing the glory, revealing the glory, can you feel the glory, can you feel the glory, can you feel the glory? Right here, right now. <laughs> wow. Keep going. Well, what's going on, Kathy? What's up? <laughs> well, um, I think I feel like God wants to just tip everything on everybody. But there's something I, I want to pray. And I want to pray for people, if you ever felt, or you were ever in a place where you felt like you had to qualify. You know, I, I don't mean for salvation. I mean, when uh, people talk about the angels, the chariots of God, the heavenly visitations, and all that great stuff, people feel they have to qualify. Sometimes they're made to feel they have to qualify. It's just a religious thing, but I just want to break that off. Amen. So everyone can receive everything, including the things that David probably has, which receive everything. Nobody has to qualify for anything. You're, Jesus qualified you 100%. So you can receive whatever's going. Amen. So I break the power of that qualifying spirit yes. right now in Jesus' name. Mm. Say, Jesus. I'm so qualified. I couldn't get more qualified. Now do this and start receiving. Whatever. And as you were saying that, I saw physical things coming off because it was connected to the yeah. spiritual things. Stubbornness is breaking off people. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas people were talking about supernatural things, something in you rose up like, mm, that can't be right. Angels, oh. that can't be right. Miracles, glory, and that's breaking off. Stubborn spirits breaking off of you right now from the studio audience and those watching. And, and then now backs are being healed. Heaviness that you've held in your body because of that, now it's also coming off. I see spinal cords being healed. I see stiff neck. Not necessarily stiff neck Christians, but Christians with stiff necks are being healed. <laughs> I see yeah. if you have a really big nose, there's nothing we can do about that. 
Wait a second. You pray for people that get short, get tall. Don't give, come on now, David. Don't hold back. Lay it on. No. It's a, it's a Jewish thing. Enjoy it. Right. Um, it's not a big ear. It's not, it's not a sickness. Just enjoy it. But, but, but God's healing. If tumors, he's increasing your IQ. He's causing feet to be healed. It, now you remember where the keys are. Feet are being healed in Jesus' name. You couldn't walk without pain, flat feet, swollen feet, stinky feet. Everything's being healed right now. Did you say stinky? I think I did, didn't I? I guess you did. <laughs> when you're drunk, you say stuff. You know. uh, cataracts, floaters on your eyes are being healed. Twitching eyes, cross eyes. <laughs> Yellow eyes, um, every eye condition, every eye condition is being, I don't know why it's funny, but it's not. Every eye condition is being healed. Uh, growth on your thyroid, goiters, uh, anything that's growing that shouldn't be there. Your belly also, belly, stomach, weight loss. It's in the Bible, the Bible says, that I may decrease, that he may increase. Lay aside every way so you can run the race. That's in the Bible. So that's God's causing weight to leave off of you in Jesus' name. It's in the Bible somewhere. I, you, know, you know, I, sh I, I shared a uh, little before this, sh this show. I had a great miracle. And God, I, I, I was supposed to lose my thyroid. And God had a great miracle. And I have so much. I'm not going to. I have so much faith for anyone that has thyroid disease right now. And I, you multiply. <laughs> uh, I have so much faith right now for anyone that has thyroid disease or cancer. And I, I and by the way, you say, well, that's serious business. Why are they laughing and being so light? Because in this atmosphere is the glory and in the glory, things happen quickly, quickly, quickly. So I pray in Jesus' name that all goiters be gone, yes. that all, all, all uh, uh, anything attached to the thyroid, I bind in Jesus' name, and I command you off, and I command all spirits of cancer to be bound, get to the feet of Jesus where you belong, and the blood of Jesus saturates you and heal you in the name of Jesus from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes. And you know what I believe? I believe that you guys, are you there, Kathy? Yes. Um, I believe that I believe that David and Kathy and Julie playing the piano over there. Uh, I believe you guys can release the glory right yes. now. Can I say something? Yeah, good. Can I say something? You can say anything you want. Oh, okay. I hope. <laughs> You know, I take people to Ireland and Scotland, and I had this on my heart all day. Um, from the uh, monasteries in the 6th century, 5th century, they would have what they called the Peregrini. The Peregrini would get in a little boat off the shores of Ireland, had no rudder, no oars. They trusted God to send the winds hmm. to take them where they were supposed to go. So I'd say that was a spirit of abandonment to the purposes of God. And all day, I've been drunk all day because I can feel the water rushing around me. I want you to feel the water too, because it's an invitation. Everything you need is in that boat. But it's a boat that has no rudder or oars that's working at it. It's just trusting God to take you where you're supposed to go, but you have to be available. So I'm available. I'm so open. I'm so qualified. There, now you can get in the boat. You can feel it. Get in the river too. Yeah, well, the boat's on the ocean. Yeah, get in the ocean, <laughs> the river, the pool, <laughs> the well. <laughs> it's more than a little sprinkling. Um, just raise your hand and receive the glory right now if you're watching a studio audience, if you're watching from around the world. Yes, Let the glory just saturate you right now. You don't have to be qualified, as Kathy said, just take Let's it see. to whosoever will. Come and drink freely. The drinks are free. Welcome to Joel's Bar, Joel's 228. 
The drinks are on him. Just drink. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Just drink. Drink, 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 drink. Maybe sing 99 bottles of glory on the wall till you hit. I just keep whatever you got to do. Just taste and see that the Lord is good. He smells good too. The smells of God begin to come from heaven. The scents and the, oh, just take that glory right now. <laughs> God wants to, you know, a lot of Christians are just uptight and, and bound and he wants to unconstipate his people and let the river flow and set his people free. Did you say that? I think I did. I thought you did. He wants to <laughs> stop what's all over the world. All around the world. And they're translating this in Chinese, Arabic, or whatever. Well, I used Hebrew. to make a living selling life insurance, so keep it, keep it up, David. He, whatever's being bottled up, he wants to release it. Now, I, I can smell a peppermint. I don't know if you can smell it too. Peppermint, okay. this means refreshing. Okay. Yeah. You smell it? It's refreshing. Hmm. So part of this is to refresh you, That's awesome. get you out of the mindsets, get you in the boat or the well or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the river, the ocean. Take a deep breath, relax, chill out. Say to your neighbor, chill out. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they do that at the Western Wall. It's good dubbing. <laughs> Wait, was that a peppermint patty that you were smelling? Or just peppermint? Peppermint. Oh, okay. It's refreshing. It means yeah, refreshing. No, I it's smelled strong. it. It smells good. Donna, you, you smelled it too. Can you smell it? Different smells can come in the glory. Yeah. Sometimes you can smell uh, I have a book on that. garlic smells. You can smell uh, flowers and amazing things have happened. Stephanie spoke one time about being an offering, a burnt offering to God, and the smell came in of like garlic. And then all these new age people jumped in and said, what is that smell? And we led them to the Lord just you, by smell. You know what? Julie, you have something. You know what? I just feel like um, that there's such a sweet presence here and the Lord is releasing just a cry for hunger in the human heart a cry we were talking about it earlier but it's it's a, a he, we were praying about it it started with david he's releasing he's stirring up hunger that you will hunger for god more and more and more and that hunger will lead you to a life abandoned to anything but god and i just feel like he's giving it as a gift like you're just it's just like he's, he's stirring up the gift, the gift of hungering for God and for his word. And out of that is coming, is coming creative miracles. Yes. You know what I know? I heard that word. That word is from God. Yes. And Amen. there is only one qualification. And the only qualification is to find someone that is perfect, perfect. But the Bible says there's not one perfect, not one. But there was. God became man. Amen. And he lived like a man. And he didn't have any sins of his own, but he took your sins, my sins, your sins upon himself. And by his wounds, yes. bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits. He's forgiven all of my sins. He's forgiven all of your sins. He's healed all of your diseases. If you'll say this prayer out loud and mean it, you will experience the living God. I don't know if it'll be this moment or in five minutes, but I do know that you will be qualified if you say this prayer. I know that. Repeat it out loud. Dear God, Dear God I'm, a I'm a sinner against you, against you. and you alone have I sinned. And I'm, so and I'm so sorry. I believe, I believe. The, the blood of Messiah Yeshua, the blood of Messiah Yeshua. Has washed away all of my sins. Has washed away all of my sins. And I am clean. And I am clean. And now that I am clean. Now that I am clean. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. 
Come inside of me. Take over my life. I want to experience your goodness. Amen. You're qualified now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, I'm going to... Julie, I gave you a lot of material to sing. What do, what do you want to sing? What do I want to sing? And as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul thirsts for God right here, right now. And as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul, it pants for God, it longs for God. I'm abandoned to God, I'm running to God, just like a deer runs to the water for healing, for wisdom. Just like a deer, it runs to the water, I'm running to you. I am healed and I am qualified. I'm qualified by the Lamb. Right here, I'm qualified. I'm sanctified. I'm purified by the Lamb. The Lamb, the Lamb, the worthy Lamb. Yeah, the presence of God is so thick right now. And He's touching you, He's visiting you. It's healing you. you need, some of you are being healed emotionally, some physically, some spiritually. There's a right shoulder that just got healed, a, sh a rotator cup just got healed right now. Just to start checking either on television, watching or the studio audience. He's healing. There's all kind of migraines have been lifting. You've been under heavy warfare, witchcraft, and migraines have been lifting off of you right now. You could sleeplessness at night. You know, I know we always look for the, the big coming out of wheelchairs, but sometimes just those little things are really tormenting. Tormenting spirits in the night, things on your bloodline that's been tormenting you. You don't know why you're having the thoughts. We just break that off. The blood of Jesus and Yeshua breaks off every Amen. curse on your bloodline that brings memory and sell your memory of your past and of your ancestors. We break it off in Jesus' name that you're free from religious spirits, stubbornness, witchcraft, curses, um, cycles of patterns of sin. They break off right now Amen. in Jesus' name and your blood is completely set free. Even of the memory of your ancestors' sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Start checking your body right now, even if you're watching by television, internet, or you're here in the audience. Start checking your body right now. Some of you, we didn't even have to call it out. We sing a lot of miracles that we never call out just from the glory. Check and, your and, body. And at home, you start checking it out. Exactly. Because the glory is in your living room, in your bedroom right now, <laughs> even in that bar where you're watching. Some of you couldn't even stand up, phone. and you're, now you can couldn't walk, now you can. You couldn't lift your arms, now you can. You couldn't see clearly without glasses, now you can. Just start checking your body. I see spots on the skin, skin spots. Suddenly they're going like baby skin. Just start checking right now. Um, I just saw a vision of um, a door uh, sl slamming open and then closing. And so I just felt uh, maybe as people Maybe a child, maybe a young person that just left, walked out and kind of left, might be, could be, I just felt family members that have just left. Is that, they just walked out, something, just left. I just want to pray for them to come back. I felt like God opened the door again for them to come back, not just shut it. Does that resonate with anyone? Call them back, yeah. Kathy. Okay, in the name of Jesus, we just call them back. No, you don't, not going out to nowhere. You're going to come home. You're going to come back. I speak to every young person that is left, and I command them, come back in the name of Jesus. Everyone that shouldn't have gone, I command them to come back right now in Jesus' name. Come back. We just send our angels after them. Get them back. Amen. In fact, we're coming into a time right now where many young people that were taught the truth got into college and got it uh, uh, just pulled out of them 
They started watching show business. It was pulled out of them. Their friends pulled it out of them. Their professors yeah. pulled it out of them. But guess what? Train up a child in the ways of the Lord. And when they're old, I tell you, they shall not okay. depart. And so I say those young people that you've been calling out to God for, that's what Kathy saw. Yeah. The door is open. Come home. We call you home. You are your belong. Home. And just as you were a leader in unrighteousness because of what the world did to you, I say you will be a leader in righteousness. These young people will lead the next move of God's spirit. When you pray for them, prophesy their callings too. When you pray for your young ones, no, words that you know that they've had, you bring it before the court of heaven. The accuser is trying to accuse you and the church in their minds. And you say, no, devil. She had a word when she was born. Before she was in the mother's womb, you called her. You knew her. Jeremiah wants to war with the, with the prophetic words, with the spirit, with the written word. And you eventually keep doing that. Things, even you, don't, you might even look worse before it gets better sometimes in the natural, but it's working in the behind the scenes. Amen. You know, you know, there's there's a marvelous ingredient that I personally have said, God, this is many years ago, it's too hard. It's called faith. But you know yes. what God says? Uh -huh. It's too simple. It's too simple. I've done all the work. All you do is believe what yep. I've already Amen. done. Amen. It's so yes. simple. In fact, I, I heard a couple of words from God a couple of days ago. And, and he said, it's so simple. Do what I do. Say what I say. Hear what I hear. It's so simple. But God, you could cry, I, I, I don't hear anything. Well, first of all, <laughs> according to your words, you're snared by the words in your mouth. So you start saying, I hear God's voice because his word promises his sheep hear his voice. I am his sheep. I am righteous. I am clean. I am qualified. I am qualified. I am qualified. I am qualified. So you will start hearing, but where's that little thing called faith involved? If the, you see you didn't need faith, then it'd all be working everything. But you need faith. And with the glory, David, you know this. And Kathy, with the glory, the word is easy. Oh. Hearing God is easy. People being healed is easy. Who has something they want to share? I do. It's so easy. Uh, like Sid said, you just believe. Is that right? You hear by faith. It, to me, it's just like putting your antenna up. Like, so if you do this, come on. <laughs> That's all it is. It's that easy. You put your antenna up and tune in. It's all right there in the spirit <laughs> realm. Already provided, you just tune in. in. Amen. Yaman. <laughs> that's, my deep, that's my deep revelation <laughs> to add to that. I, you know what I think would be really pleasing to God right now is to praise him for what he's done. I, Julie, I want you to be praising him. I want everyone in the studio audience to be praising him. I want everyone at home to be praising him. And uh, Julie, give me a, a, a quick suggestion on how people at home can be praising God that have never done this before. Just do it. I've just opened your mouth and say, I praise you, or open the Psalms, and just literally just get out of the boat. Just And if you pray. run out of words, you'll be given supernatural language to do it like this. And if you don't pray in your supernatural language, now is a good time by faith. Manama, Namanya, Monoma, Hania, Mama, 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 Hania, Hama, Hama,
We got through. We got through. New hair, David just is singing. New hair everywhere. That rhymes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, what am I gonna do, Kathy? I don't know if she's gonna be able to work after you're through with her. Um, she's she's <laughs> helping me. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, they tell me we're out now, but they, I think that they're out. Sid Roth has heard from a number of prophets that there is soon coming a major outpouring of God's glory, which will usher in the greatest revival in history. When the glory comes, there will be a manifestation of healings, miracles, and breakthroughs in an unprecedented way. Are you ready to walk in the glory atmosphere of God? Here is how you can. Call now and get the Miracles in the Glory package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walters' The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Myers' Activating the Glory. Six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Through this powerful Miracles in the Glory package, you will receive David Herzog's anointed Desperate for the Glory teaching. You will learn how a desperation for more of God will propel you into glory encounters like David himself has experienced. Understand when the glory comes, David has observed supernatural weight loss, creative miracles, and abundance of healing, even hair supernaturally growing. Learn how you can become a carrier of the glory and see God demonstrate God's miracle working power in your life. You will also receive Kathy Walters' powerful teaching, The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance. You will learn how miracles, angelic, and heavenly visitations are supposed to be a normal part of your life. Learn how to tap into God's supernatural power to access the glory realm and walk moment by moment in the spirit realm. Plus, you will receive Julie Meyer's life-changing teaching, Activating the Glory. Julie has led people into the glory of God through her prophetic worship for many years. Through this teaching, you will hear the testimonies of people who have experienced miracles from singing the scriptures. Enter into a place of supernatural peace and joy like never before. Learn four supernatural keys to help activate the glory of God in your life. Through this one-of-a-kind Miracles in the Glory package, you will begin to walk in intimacy with God like never before. Watch your God-given destiny accelerate faster as prophetic words, which were given for the distant future, will begin to awaken and manifest. Understand how to pray in the glory and see prayers answered because there is no time or distance in the glory realm. Learn how to make decrees and declarations in the glory realm and experience new authority and victory. Begin to experience God-given dreams and visions like never before. These audio CDs contain anointed prayers of impartation for you to obtain all of God's blessings and promises for your life so you can come out of the ordinary and step into the extraordinary. Don't miss out on getting the Miracles in the Glory package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walters' The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Meyer's Activating the Glory, six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 3136 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today.